Guess what? David Bonson is with us this morning. Great to have you here, David. All right. Strong jobs report. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I agree with Warren. It's really hard to put a negative spin on this. It was a good jobs report. Yeah. The unemployment rate lower, the total jobs number higher. Because I'm a long-term, big-picture macroeconomist, I'm always worried about the lower labor participation force. I want more people in the workforce. But as far as the percentage of people that are in the workforce and looking for a job, a good portion of them have one. It's pretty, it's pretty easy right now to hold a job. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, wages are what a lot of people are looking to, Ash. And real wages have kept up pretty good here as of late. So it's a good report. So with, uh, to pick up what Lauren was saying, David, the Fed, I mean, takes away the incentive for a half a point cut, right, in November? It's a difficult thing to answer because I've never believed that they really yeah. are worried about this data, but it's what the data does to give them a cover. I'm looking at the way it's moved here now, and the odds have definitely skewed to more quarter-point cuts than yes. half-point cuts in the next two meetings. But I think that has more to do with optics than real life. The reason the Fed needs to get rates lower is because there's so much debt rolling over, and they don't want it to roll mm. over at higher rates. And so they're trying to race against the clock, and the labor data either fits fits in or doesn't fit in, but the Fed's got to do what they have to do. You know, what is the state of the consumer, David? To your point, we are seeing delinquencies crop up both in the auto sector, credit cards. That has to be a worry. It is a worry about a worry. In other words, it's not in worry mode yet, <laughs> but there's signs to start to look at it. Credit card debt itself mm. is higher, but as a percentage of assets, it's very low. In other words, total household net worth is quite a bit higher. My own permanent view of the consumer is in America, they shop till they drop. Until they max out credit cards, they keep shopping. Um, however, I do believe that there are, you know, extended leverage metrics we want to right. be careful about. Indeed. Shop to your drop. That's the American mantra. God yeah. bless them. Uh, stay there, David. You're with us for the entire hour, so we're lucky to have you. David, very quickly, you know, for every day a port is shut down, they estimate it's about five to seven days of recovery. So three days, that's what, 15, 20 odd days. Uh, thank goodness we got this resolved, at least for now, before the busy, busy holiday retail season, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll never know how much worse it could have gotten. And also, the, the yeah. formula for how bad it is is tough because there was an inventory buildup already. There may have been a little excess yeah. in there, but it's, it's good that it's over. There's no question about it. What's your take on Tesla, David? It's, it's a mercurial uh, stock, that's for sure. I'm very grateful that my company only puts price targets on companies we own. We don't own this one because you can't put a price uh, target on it. It's so volatile and there's so much moving parts around deliveries, yeah. which has been Tesla's biggest volatility for years. David, you know, Stu always says I wouldn't touch the airlines with a 10 foot pole. Are you the same? Uh, very much. Have been forever. Warren Buffett once said he wanted a 12 step <laughs> program for people that wanted to buy airline stocks. Uh, Got to stay away. And Taylor nailed this. This company died the day the government blocked that merger and they blocked that merger for yeah. no reason at all. David, are you a Zuckerberg fan or, or, or not? Uh, you know, I don't know him well, and I make it a, a habit of not yeah. becoming fans of people I don't know. Uh, keep in mind, Jeff Bezos is now the third richest man in the world after having to give half his money away a few years ago. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> very good point. It's interesting, David. You know, if I'm going to do any searches, I only ever use Google. I don't use any of the other ones because I always, if I try it, I'm always disappointed. Go back to Google. How about you? I think most everyone feels the same. Even people that get really mad yeah. at Google, sometimes they end up having to yeah. use it. There's only a few companies like yeah. that, but their dominance with search is pretty much unprecedented. I think you're right. Uh, all right, David, you brought us, as you always do, a couple of good dividend picks. Let's begin with American Electric Power. Yes, I purposely picked a couple today because Stuart wasn't here, and so I don't have to justify some lower dividends <laughs> because, you know, he just won't listen to me on the importance of dividend growth. And I know, Ash, that you will allow me. Uh, Apollo oh, and American yes. Electric Power, AEP, utility name. We desperately need more electricity production. These big data centers they're building, they can't get power. It's a huge theme. I've had mm. many meetings here in New York this week on this very subject, AEP. AEP is a great utility play. 
And they, I, I see on my screen it says Apollo. I'm assuming that's not the old space program. Uh, no, Apollo being kind of the second largest asset manager on Wall Street, hedge funds, but especially private credit, real estate, and has grown tremendously. You know, we bought it at about 30. It's at 130, and we're still long. They're continuing to grow. They came up this week. They're running, Ash, about $600 billion. They set a five-year goal mm. of $1.5 trillion, and we believe they're going to hit it. Oof. Wow. Impressive, David. Thank you very much. David, you know what? We're about a week, about a month now away from the election. How much of a disservice is this doing to voters when we don't hear from Kamala Harris, especially for, you know, those in the financial world? What are her plans? What are the the the, the details? We just don't have them, do we? Well, we do not. And two things are true at once. It's the right thing for her to do politically. Yep. Uh, she does far worse when she does get out there and talk, mm. when she does say things, both because of her difficulty in articulating it, but because the message itself is not sellable. It's big tax, big government, big regulation. American people don't like it. It's best for her not to say it. But that is what's behind it. I mean, that's what her underlying philosophy is, Ash. Yeah. I think it says it all, really, but I'll leave it right there. David, thank you so much for joining us for the whole hour. We didn't get into arguments over dividends. It's all been smooth sailing. Great to have you here, David. Thank you so much.